Hi, my name is Mary Jane Brown and you're watching my channel. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kevin and today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. Today I'm doing my makeup because I have an interview that I'm recording today with a special guest and I'm not going to mention her name just in case. Well, no, because I'm going to edit this after. So today I have a special guest in my channel. Her name is Ruby Bella Cruz and she's one of the cast of Drag Latina season two. And most likely I'm going to post that interview before this tutorial, but let's get started because I'm already crunching on time. So I'm going to put the cap on so my hair can be out of my face. So I'm so happy that I'm having a guest over in my channel and I'm honored that she is allowing me to interview her and I'm going to respect her. And when I mean respect, I mean like not to try to get her in trouble with her NDA. Well, actually, I don't know if they signed one. I'm assuming they did because all shows do. I'm just assuming things. Hey Siri, turn the table light 100%. Hey Siri, turn the table light white. So I'm really excited and I'm really honored that she's going to give me the interview. And like I said, I'm going to respect her when it comes to her contract with Reverie and Drag Latina. So I'm not going to ask her crazy things that are going to get her in trouble. But we are going to have a conversation about her and about the show. Just her feelings and her thoughts while being there. Not necessarily... I'm not going to necessarily ask her to tell me any gossip or anything. Like, mostly about just her feelings, how she felt during the show, how she feels about the cast, you know, her friendships. Just normal basic things that are okay to ask. So I'm really excited. Although when I'm promoting the interview, I'm going to pretend like she's telling me spoilers and gossip and that she's talking mess. But that's just for attention and just to mess with Reverie and Drag Latina a little. <laughs> so we're going to use LA Girl for covering our beer. So now I'm going to use the Kat Von D eyebrow gel and I'm going to do my eyebrows. I am really excited about this interview I'm doing. I'm really honored. I can't believe somebody's going to take their time to come and do an interview with me. And I always wanted to do this kind of things in my channel. I wanted to have people over and talk about their lives. So the fact that she's coming, I'm so excited and honored. And that's why I'm going to respect her because, you know, somebody's taking their time out of their day to come here and do something nice for me. Like, that is so cool. But throughout this, like, I wish I could just talk the whole time about this interview. But I'm just going to stop because I also don't know, like, what if she doesn't come? And then I'm talking about her and the interview the whole time in this video. And then I lose this footage because she doesn't come. But I'm a big believer that things happen for a reason. And if she happens to not come, then there's a reason for that. Like, I'm a big believer in God. And I think that things happen. Like, if things are meant to be, they're meant to be. And if they're not, then they're not. And we shouldn't, like, insist. But the reason why I'm going to stop talking about it is just because of that. Because what if it doesn't happen and then... Not only did I not do the interview, but also I lost the footage of me doing my makeup tutorial. So although I would love to talk about everything that I'm going to be doing and asking her, I'm just going to, this video is just going to be a makeup tutorial because, because of that. Okay, that's what I'm going for, some natural eyebrows. But something I did want to say is that I am nervous because I want her to feel comfortable and I guess it's the nerves of like leaving a good impression and hoping she feels relaxed and fine and comfortable. Now that I'm done with my eyebrow gel, I'm going to go in with the foundation. So now I'm going in with the Kat Von D foundation. So if you've been following my videos. You guys know that I prefer to do the tapping method, even if it takes me longer. Like right now, I feel like I'm running late. 
because she's going to be here at three and it's already 12 something and I'm barely starting. But I prefer this method because it just clicks the makeup so much smoother. So we're going to do the highlight. So I'm using this Studious Place Concealer and with the same sponge but the different side, I'm going to tap. Okay, and now I'm going to contour with the liquid concealer, I guess. Just a darker concealer. Okay, not this side. And now we're going to do further contouring. I'm going to use this stick and with a different sponge, I'm going to tap. And to finish, we're going to contour with the stick. So I'm almost done with the contouring. So now I'm going to use this morphe blush just to finish the contouring i'm going to do my nose i usually leave it to the end only when i want to do details on it or like make it look really skinny and i'm going to use this little sponge too and before i do my eyebrows or continue with my eyebrows i'm going to set the all the liquid on base with powder So we're going to continue with the eyebrows and for that I'm going to use this Juvia's Place Eyebrow Gel. Okay, I'm going to start doing my eyes. And today I have a new palette that I don't believe I've used. Or maybe I've used it before. But it doesn't matter. Today we're going to be using Juvia's Place Eloise the Queen. And we're going to start with this light brown Shiva because she's a diva. And we're going to do our crease. So it's powdery, but it doesn't matter because as long as the palette is it's good and it's pigmented, then to me, the powder doesn't matter. I mean, as long as it's not excessive and it's not excessive. Warm our lid. So I'm just going to add powder under my eye. So I'm going to add some of this light brown under my eye. Okay, and now to go a little deeper, I'm going to use this burgundy. And I'm going to start here and bring it to the middle. And we're going to do a little more. And we're going to do the same for the other eye. So I'm going to use a different brush. And I'm going to use this pink right here. It's called Empress. And I'm going to give some pink to this area. And I'm going to do the same for the other eye. And instead of using a black, I'm going to use this Juvia's Place Berry Collection. And I'm going to use this dark. It's like a burgundy dark. But I'm going to use it as kind of to give like an eye, cat eye illusion. So I'm going to use this concealer. And I'm going to continue with this palette and I don't have to go for the blue. I'm going to go for this light blue called powerful and I'm going to use my fingers because it's literally the best method. So before I continue with my eyes, I'm going to remove the powder. Okay, and now I'm going to continue with contouring. And I'm going to continue with Juvia's Place and I'm going to use their duo 
And for the nose, I'm going to use a different brush. So now we're gonna do the blush. For the blush, I'm going to use this brush. And I'm going to use this Juvia's Place, like peachy blush. And we're going to do highlight. And for that, I'm going to use this Laura Lee Los Angeles highlighter. And I'm going to go for a rose gold. And I'm going to use this white to highlight. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to continue with my eyes. And for my eyeliner, I'm using NYX Cosmetics. So for the wing, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's liquid eyeliner. But I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do a fake one because or a half one because I'm already late. And I don't want to ruin it and then ruin my makeup. I'm just going to let it dry. And while that dries, I'm going to use uh, Fenty Beauty's mascara. So I'm going to put my lashes on and finish my lips and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm done with my eyes. I'm just going to retouch. So I'm going to do my lips and we'll be done. Okay, and now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty, the Icon Lipstick. Okay, I love that. And now I'm going to add a little bit of gloss. So I'm just going to use the Kat Von D setting spray. So I'm gonna go put my wig on and I'll come back to close this video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is how the look turned out. I'm really happy how it looks. I think it's cute, I like how it looks. It's not the perfect makeup look, but it still works. And I did have a lot of mistakes because I was rushing and I was kind of nervous because of my guests coming. But thank you so much for spending your time here with me. If you like my makeup tutorial or if you have anything to say to me in the comments, leave it down there. And if you like to subscribe, thank you so much. And that's all for me. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Mary Jane Blunt and you're watching my channel.